Welcome to my channel. My name is Imara and today I'm doing a like Black Friday slash kind of what I just got like in the past few months haul. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and let's just get into the haul. So the first item I got from Brandy Melville was the like Ronnie brown lace tank top. I'm really into browns this winter so I was like brown would be cute. The next thing I got from Brandy was this black thermal, um, this little like race car image thing on the front. I probably wear this again with low rise like blue jeans and my docks. I went to the New York Brandy Melville and it was a huge Brandy Melville. I've never been to a Brandy Melville that big. I was really overwhelmed. I was like, like I don't ever really shop at Brandy ever, like ever. But luckily I got my stuff and I left. I was like, oh, no, we gotta, we gotta go. go. The next thing I got was the classic Tate sweater. I've been wanting this sweater for so long long now this isn't the oversized though this is the only thing about it it's like a regular sweater not a big oversized like grandpa one but i still love it and that's why i got it i'm a really really big fan of sweaters so yeah i was very very happy that i got the classic tate sweater i literally don't like tate in popular opinion tate was not one of my favorite ahs characters he was literally scary and i was like um i'm not seeing the hype over a school shoot but I still liked the outfit though, but I don't like Tate as a character. The last clothing item I got from Brandy Melville was this brown huge sweater. It is literally my favorite thing ever. It also smells so good. I will be wearing this like literally all the time. Puffers, layering. The next thing I got from Brandy Melville was jewelry and I got three pieces of jewelry. All silver. I'm kind of in my silver era as you can see like from the clips, the necklace. So the first thing I got were these earrings, as you can see, there's only one. Um, the other one just fell on the ground, but it's just like this little silver, cute little thing. I have the other one right here. I just like little mini hoops. I think they're super cute, and I also wanna get my seconds pierced when I go back home for break. So I was like, those would be cute with like a stud. The next earrings I got were these small silver hoops. Um, they're just super cute mini ones, you know, perfect. Again, like I said, I love small little simple hoops. I just think you can wear them with literally anything. And the last thing I got was this necklace. It's just like this like little, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like this little like silver charm necklace with like this little thing at the bottom. I had a necklace just like this that I had earlier this year. I was wearing it to like parties and stuff and then it ended up coming off during the parties and like I would lose it and then I would find it on my clothes when I got back. It was just a mess, so. These necklaces low key come off really easily, so I would say like don't wear them to parties or events or anything that you're gonna be moving sports. Don't just wear them like when you're like going out because they will like literally snap off. The next pieces I got were from Marc Jacobs Heaven Collection. It's my favorite collection ever. Pretty much the only place I really shop at is Marc Jacobs. Um, I'm obsessed with like all his new designs, all his collections everything so i always try to save up and buy something but i got some things on depop and then the other things i got online so i'll just let you guys know which is which so the first piece i got was from depop but it's from his i think first or second collection that he ever had I wasn't able to get it at the time because his pieces like drop and then you can never get them again unless they're like second hand so i finally got this. this is the alienation generation shirt it is so cute it's just brown with blue lettering. Also, in the show Generation, which unfortunately got canceled, they were wearing like a lot of Marc Jacob Heaven pieces. I really, really love this shirt and I wear it all the time. Next thing I got was, not pretty new, I got this a while ago, but I wanted to show it in a haul because like I said, this is kind of like a collective haul. I got this shirt, it's the More Teen Angst top from Marc Jacobs too. I got this on Depop for a good price and it's just like my favorite top ever. I wear this all the time. If you've seen me, you've probably seen me wear this top. The next shirt I got was from the actual Marc Jacobs Heaven website. And that is this like white heaven logo tee. It's just like this white top with purple like ringer. It's like a ringer tee kind of. Ringer baby tee. These three shirts I wear like every day. If you see me in like at college, you probably see I'm wearing one of these shirts. The last thing I got from Marc Jacobs Heaven collection The last thing I got from Marc Jacobs Heaven Collection is the iconic Virgin Suicide shirt. I really, really wanted this. It's just literally so cute. The next thing I got was from the brand called Praying. Praying is like a brand that kind of sells like, how do I even explain it? They sell like a bunch of cool stuff. It is expensive. So I got this on Depop, but I got the Bella and Edward bag. I'm a very, very, very 
big twilight fan so i was like oh my gosh when i saw this bag i was like i need to get it like i don't know when i don't know how i need to get it but i was like i'm not gonna pay 90 dollars for a bag i could probably diy myself so i waited on depop and i got it for a cheaper price if you like twilight you're a big twilight fan like me you should buy it because it's so cute. Next thing I got was from Amazon, and that is just this like red beret. I think berets are really, well, berets are always in. Like, I don't remember when berets weren't in style, but I don't know. I love berets, and I got a red one because, you know, my nails, I'm kind of in this like red era. So, yeah, my little beret, little beret moment. I got it from Amazon. I think it was like $10. Next thing I got was from Victoria's Secret in New York. This was like a huge Victoria's Secret. It was like four, three levels or something. It was huge. I got this pajama set. It is like this like Christmassy kind of set. It's pink, like teal, blue, and yellow. And these are like the shorts. The top is like this plaid little like top. It's just so like girly but also like super Christmassy but also like something I could wear during the whole year. I always try to buy a Victoria's Secret set on sale during Black Friday. Like every year I get a Victoria's Secret set. I'm trying to make it a tradition because it's just nice to like have a nice set in your closet. The next thing I got was from the thrift store in DC and this is something I've wanted forever. It's so funny because I walked in, I saw it and I was like oh and it was only like $13 and I was like oh because I've been on Depop like literally looking every day for this and it's always been like $40. I was like I'm not paying that. Mm -mm. Those are these like military pants. They are so cute. They're not even like the regular military. They're like, what is this called? What is this print called? It's like, like they're military, but they're like different. Okay, the next thing I got is from AliExpress. I got this like tote bag. It's 2001. I was born in 2002, but I do like the year 2001. So I was like, let me get it. It's just this like really large tote bag and I love it so much. I'm obsessed with AliExpress's totes. They're only like $6, but they're super sturdy. The pockets are super nice. It's really a win-win for me. So that's what I got from AliExpress. I wear it all the time. I wear it as my school bag because I don't really have a lot of in-person classes until next semester. So usually what I wear is just a tote bag and I'll put all my stuff in it and go. I got the Unif Parker boots. They are these like big platform shoes. These are so cute. I always get compliments when I wear them because they just, they're a statement piece. Like it makes me 10 times taller. You own the room when you walk in. Unif shipping is literally horrible. Do, oh my gosh. I hate buying on Unif because it takes forever to come. They also use UPS and I hate UPS shipping. It takes forever. So that was the only problem. I waited like weeks for those shoes, but it finally came after me waiting like forever, a month or so. The last thing in this haul that I got was from a zine called Our Era. I ordered this a while ago, but it finally came in the mail and my mom shipped it to me. It is Our Era magazine. I had to get it because I'm obsessed with High School Musical, the musical, the series, and she is on the cover. It's like a large zine, as you can see. Many cool pages and it's huge. Like, really look at how big that is. And it's so thick. I love it so much, but I really like supporting zines and I wanted to support theirs. That is all I got in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.